hey guys and welcome back to my channel okay okay so today guys i am coming back with a new brand new berry avenue video and today is my first day becoming a mom today i am going to be adopting a newborn baby i am so excited i already have her name and yes it is a baby girl she is healthy so cute i've already seen pictures of her and i am just so excited to hold her in my arms guys so if you guys are interested in seeing me pick up my newborn baby go ahead and like comment and of course subscribe and let's go ahead and get into it okay guys i literally just woke up so i am ready to get started with my day and finally get some like breakfast look decent to pick up my baby you guys are definitely going to know her name by the time i pick her up but for now let's just go ahead get ready because i am just so excited to get into the hospital and finally get my new baby girl okay guys so i just got ready this is my outfit of the day to pick up my newborn baby so i have my white bow on my hair i have some gold hoops with my gold choker this really cute like sweater dress with a really nice bow of course and a black skirt with some white thigh high boots as well i feel like this is really cute and appropriate for picking up my new baby guys I am so excited like I can hardly wait so let's just go ahead maybe go to the cafe get something to eat real quick and then head over to the hospital to get my new baby okay guys so before we actually get over to the cafe I definitely want to show you guys the baby room first before we actually head over to the cafe and over to the hospital so let's go ahead and check it out all right guys so this is the baby room i got everything from ikea except for this like teddy bear i got that one from amazon but guys this is her bedroom oh my gosh so cute i'm definitely thinking about probably putting some more stuff in here later on but just for now this is like her essentials of course like her changing table right here and her crib with her light over there as well so yeah these are like her essentials for now but i'm gonna like fill it up some more eventually but this is it guys all right guys let's go ahead and head over to the cafe okay guys so i just made it into the cafe i guess nobody else is here which is good so i could just get my order and head over to the hospital okay so i have my coffee here now and now it's finally time to head over to the hospital guys it's a good thing that the hospital is actually really close by the cafe i'm gonna go ahead and actually try to finish my coffee before getting her because i don't want to have anything hot next to her so i really want to be careful so i'm going to go ahead finish my coffee and then i'll see you guys at the hospital okay guys so i am now at the hospital right now i'm literally right in front of it and guys i am ready to pick up my baby girl oh my gosh i am so excited as you guys can see i already have her car seat in my hand right now and all i have to do is literally just go into the hospital fill out some paperwork and she is coming home with me so let's go ahead and meet my new baby girl okay guys so i just filled out all the paperwork i am just waiting to be called right now because there was a little bit of a line but guys i am so nervous right now like i know it's gonna be super different but i am also so excited i am so happy that she's healthy and that she's well but i think i'm gonna go ahead and get her soon because i do see somebody coming up to me so i'm just gonna go ahead and talk to you guys when i actually have my baby girl oh my gosh guys there she is oh my gosh she's so much cuter in person guys here is my new baby girl oh my gosh she is so much cuter in person guys she is so cute she's very healthy but guys also her name is ariel yes 
my baby girl's name is Ariel. She's so cute and snug. Like, she's definitely sleeping right now. All right, guys. So, I just have Ariel in the car seat. She is fast asleep, guys. Like, how cute is baby Ariel? But since I already have her and I filled out all the paperwork already, I'm gonna go ahead, head back home, and we'll catch up when I am back there. Okay guys, so we are back home from the hospital and this is more of a formal introduction to my new baby girl, Ariel. So as I said before, her name is Ariel. She is healthy, she is a baby girl, obviously. And she is so cute, guys. She is asleep right now, but I think eventually she is gonna like wake up and probably open her eyes, but but y'all, this is her. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay guys, so she is awake now. You guys could kind of see like more of how she looks, but y'all, she's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some baby food because I know like she's probably hungry right now. And I know usually like babies would cry when they're hungry, but she's really calm right now, but I'm still gonna feed her and you know give her some food some baby food and have her like you know change and get ready for bed all right guys so now Ariel is safely asleep I got her bathed and changed and now I think I'm just gonna go ahead and probably tidy up the place a little bit because it did get a little messy with like food and everything so i'm gonna go ahead tidy up i'm probably gonna vacuum a bit mop and get ready for bed So I just tidied up a little bit, nothing too crazy, but I'm going to go ahead, go upstairs and check on Ariel real quick and see if everything is okay. Okay, so Ariel is soundly asleep still. She's so cute when she sleeps. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so now that I know that Ariel is all safe and sleeping soundly, I'm going to go ahead, get ready for bed because it has been such a long time day guys like from getting baby Ariel to tidying up the house like I'm already getting so tired so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed Okay guys, so it's about that time for me to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know how you guys feel about baby Ariel so far. Like she is so cute. I'm so excited to show you guys so much more of her. But let me know what you guys think of baby Ariel so far. But guys, that is pretty much it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead, like, comment, and of course subscribe if you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! guys and welcome back to my channel okay okay so today guys i am coming back with a new berry avenue video and today guys i am going to be showing you guys my morning routine with my newborn baby baby ariel okay so as you guys probably seen from my previous video i just adopted a newborn baby and her name is Ariel. So if you guys have not seen that video, definitely go ahead and check it out after this video. But today, guys, I am going to be showing you guys my step-by-step -step new morning routine with baby Ariel. So if you guys are interested in seeing my new morning routine, 
go ahead like comment and of course subscribe and let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so right when i wake up i like to go ahead and check on baby ariel because i just installed this new crib in my room just to make sure that i could keep an eye on her and make sure that everything is okay while she is sleeping so let's go ahead and check on her i'm pretty sure she is still sleeping though okay yeah so baby ariel is still sleeping right now i think she's gonna wake up pretty soon she usually wakes up around this time so i'm gonna go ahead let her continue sleeping so while she is still sleeping i'm gonna go ahead head downstairs and prepare some breakfast because as i said before she usually does wake up around this time so i know she's gonna end up waking up pretty soon so by the time i'm done preparing breakfast she should be awake but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and let her sleep she's so cute guys but let's go ahead and go downstairs i already have all the ingredients right here so i have some acai bowl base some strawberry banana and blueberries this is gonna be so good lately i've just been eating this up and this is super easy to make so if there's any other moms out there definitely try out making an acai bowl for your morning routine it's definitely easy and convenient and healthy too okay guys so this is my acai bowl right here it looks so good i'm gonna definitely drizzle it with some honey because i like my acai bowls to have a little sweetness to it but guys as i said before ariel should definitely be awake by now so i'm gonna go ahead and check up on her and see if she's awake guys i think baby ariel is awake now all right guys so as i said before baby ariel is awake now it looks like she got a pretty good night's sleep so that is really good but it is about time for me to like go change her because hello i think she might have just did a number two so before feeding her i'm just gonna go ahead and change her real quick make sure that she is all good and comfortable so let's go ahead go upstairs to her baby room and get her changed changed. Hey guys so we just made it into the kitchen she is all changed and really calm right now so we're gonna go ahead and prepare some like fruits for her usually what i have been doing i like to go ahead and make my own baby food by mashing up some fruits some bananas some strawberries and having her eat that because i just like to make sure that whatever she's putting in her body is natural and just good for her to eat so i'm gonna go ahead prepare that but i do realize that she actually likes the kids channel a lot so i'm gonna go ahead and put her on the couch as i am preparing her breakfast and have the kids channel on for her to watch as well so usually after i'm done cooking breakfast and everything and ariel is eating and watching her show in the back I like to just go ahead and make sure I clean up because I like to tidy up the house, make sure that it's clean and everything is organized. Having a newborn baby, things could get pretty messy quickly, so I really want to make sure that the house is continuing to look tidy and clean and everything like that. So I just like to go ahead, wash some dishes before continuing on with our morning. Okay, so baby Ariel is all done with her breakfast now. I'm going to turn off the TV pretty soon, but now it's time to actually get ready to go out. I'm taking Ariel out to downtown Berry Avenue, you know, just to get out of the house a little bit because we've been pretty much in the house ever since she came home with me. So I really want to make sure that she is having enough time in the sun making sure that she has some fresh air all that good stuff so we're gonna go ahead and get ready now okay guys i just dressed baby ariel y'all she looks so cute let me show you guys a little bit more of her outfit y'all this is her outfit like she is so cute she got her pink hat to match her pink 
dress and she has a white undershirt on as well with her pink and blue pacifier. She's so cute, she is ready to go, y'all. As for me, I still clearly have to get dressed. Like, I'm not going out like this, obviously. So I'm gonna make sure that I get ready, get situated and everything, and I'm gonna carry Ariel along with me as well because I just don't want her to be alone. So, so I'm gonna make sure that I carry her along with me as I am getting ready. But let's go ahead and get ready for this outing. Okay guys, so I am now in my closet, but guys, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be wearing. Like, I really have to think about this because I want to be cute, obviously, but definitely something casual, you know what I'm saying? And maybe I'll match Ariel too, you know, maybe have like matching mommy-daughter outfits or something. Like, I feel like that would be so cute, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Okay guys, so I am now dressed and ready to go on the outing with Ariel. But I just wanted to show you guys my OOTD for today, my outfit of the day. So I do have my white headband, I have my halter white top, and my crossbody bag to also match with all the white that I have on today. I have some gold hoops on as well, and I do have on a denim skirt with some white thigh high boots underneath. And I am bringing a duffel with me as well because it has everything that Ariel needs. Extra diapers, baby wipes, extra change of clothes, pacifier, extra socks, everything like that. So I just want to make sure that I am prepared, okay? So we are going to go on a mommy-daughter outing. I'm so excited to finally take her to downtown Barry Avenue. This is going to be our first like mommy-daughter outing together. So I'm super excited, guys. So if you guys are enjoying today's video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? But let's go ahead, get baby Ariel, and we'll be on our way to downtown. Okay guys, so we finally made it out to downtown Berry Avenue and it seems like baby Ariel is really taking everything in. Like she looks so curious about everything. But we're gonna go ahead, probably get some smoothies first, do a little shopping, and maybe head into the park as well. But guys, that will be it for my morning routine with newborn baby Ariel. If you guys liked today's video, go ahead, like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, okay. So today guys, I am coming back with a new Berry Avenue video for you guys today. And today guys, we are actually going to be house hunting, okay? So obviously, with me adopting a newborn baby, it has been such a change in my life, but it has been so exciting. And I feel like one of the upgrades that just comes with having a child in your life is just upgrading like where you live and making sure that the environment is actually pretty ideal for raising a child in. And I feel like even though my house right now is pretty good so far, like there are some things that I definitely do want to improve on. So I'm gonna kind of get into that a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of just, you know, let you guys know what we are doing today. And guys, I do have some updates about baby Ariel here, guys. Guys, baby Ariel's hair is actually growing a lot, guys. Like, I can just already tell she's gonna have a full head of hair. 
she is so cute like her hair is so cute guys and it's curly so that is a little update on baby ariel like she's doing well she's healthy still guys and she's just been so good but of course guys if you guys are interested in seeing me house hunt with my newborn baby girl ariel go ahead like comment and of course subscribe and let's get into today's video okay so i'm just gonna have baby ariel just kind of sit here and watch her tv which is right over there she loves this kids channel guys like she loves this little strawberry here but i'm gonna have her just you know sit down and watch this tv as i kind of talk to you guys about like the house hunting and everything so guys i do have a lot of reasons why i want to actually house hunt and get a new house obviously with having a newborn baby like i just want to upgrade like where we live and everything but i think one of the main factors of why i want to house hunt is because because my room is downstairs while her room is upstairs and i just don't like that I want to make sure that her room is close to my room just in case if anything happens I could be available quickly. So I definitely want to make sure that we have a house where my room is close to her room and it's not like on totally different levels. So we're going to go ahead do some house hunting see how that goes we're gonna be touring a lot of houses today guys i'm not gonna lie like i've already seen so many houses on like some house rental websites like there are so many houses on the market right now that i just have my eye on so i am super excited to go house hunting today so let's go ahead and get into it but first guys i definitely want to make sure that ariel is all ready and she has her outfit on and everything because she does still have her pajamas on which is really cute but i i just want to make sure that she already has like a ready to go outfit on and everything so i will be back when she is all good to go okay guys baby ariel is all ready to go i'm gonna show you guys more of her outfit so this is her outfit for today i have her in a white long sleeve shirt with a pink dress on top and a pink hat of course with one of her favorite pacifiers guys like she loves this one but yeah she has her fuzzy socks on which she loves to have on as well but yes guys we are all ready to go i already have my duffel in the bag with all of her essentials her diapers her changing wipes pacifiers new change of clothes her bottles like everything is already in the car so we're gonna go ahead head over to one of the house tours right now because it's almost about that time for me to be there already so let's go ahead and head over there all right guys we just pulled up to the first house guys it was a bit of a drive this house is near the mountains so it was a pretty long drive so baby ariel is sleeping right now she's kind of cradled in this stomach cradle right now y'all don't even worry about it like she's gonna be sound asleep like she loves this especially when she like gets tired she loves just being in here so we're just gonna go ahead and continue on with the tours as she is napping right now but as i said before guys like this house is near the mountains and look how huge this house is like what is huge and since it is near the mountains i already know like it's gonna be less likely for specific dangers and stuff like that so i am keeping that in mind as well but let's go ahead and tour this first home okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and walk in here let's see what the vibes is giving oh my gosh guys this house is huge like do you guys see this black chandelier like what guys no wonder it was near the mountains like this is a huge estate so this is like the living room right here that's really cute or okay wait or maybe this or maybe this is the living room maybe they have two living rooms i don't know like there's this house is already so huge like and this right here is obviously the kitchen this is beautiful guys and we have like the washing machine over here and there's like gold faucets in here as well like what okay and this garage this is a two-story 
this is a two car garage which is actually really nice to know because i feel like eventually if i do feel like expanding my family i'm gonna have to have like more than one car so eventually like this two car garage will probably be needed okay let's head outside now y'all look at outside the backyard has a pool it has some umbrellas with some seats near the pool, y'all. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's even a trampoline right here. And I feel like once Arielle gets older, like, she's going to love this trampoline. And I really do like how there is a lot of space outside. So I could probably go ahead and put, like, a whole swing set. I can do like a whole sandbox out here like it's gonna be a lot of space to do a lot of activities with Ariel here like so cute and as I said before like in the garage if I want to expand my family like this space is gonna definitely be necessary like I can do a whole lot with this space so I'm definitely thinking about that too guys like what like this is super exciting okay so we definitely checked out majority of downstairs but let's go upstairs because as i said before guys like one of the main reasons why i want to go house hunting is because my room in the current house is a bit far away from her room so i really so i really want to make sure that our rooms are closer together so let's see if this house has that okay guys so this is the first room like it's pretty cute you know nothing too crazy i know this is not the master bedroom but i still want to make sure that all the bedrooms are looking good though but let's get into the next room which is down the hall oh this one is definitely like my tea i like this like the vibes is really feminine really girly like the roses over there is so cute and y'all it has a balcony like what this place has just been so crazy so far guys like this place is literally so huge but we are not done yet let's go into the other rooms so across this hall there is like way more openings for the balcony so just in case if i have any like parties or anything like that the guests could just come out here without having to go into anyone's rooms and stuff which is really good actually okay so this is one room let's see what it's giving oh okay okay guys this is a baby room y'all obviously like this is definitely like neutral vibes but it's definitely like a little bit more modern which is not bad at all and it's more neutral as well like this changing table has some gold like detailing going on all around the room which is really cool and her room also does have a balcony as well like what and her room also has a balcony as well like are you guys seeing this there's so many entrances for the balcony in this house guys it's crazy it's not even crazy it's really cool to see actually okay guys so so this is another room as well like i thought this would probably be like the master bedroom but this is just another like girl room this will actually be a nice room for Arielle when she grows up like this is gorgeous this is actually a really nice room like seriously okay guys so I just finished touring this spectacular house guys like it has been so cool to see all of the features here in this house but as I said before like one of the main reasons why I wanted to house hunt is because her room was just a bit too far from mine so I really wanted to make sure that, you know, the house that we get or end up getting has that feature. And I didn't see it in this house, guys. So I don't know. Like, we're gonna have to just go ahead and continue touring some more houses. So I actually have another house tour booked. So we're gonna go ahead and head over there and see if that one has the feature that I am looking for. Okay guys, so we just pulled up to the next house. It's so nice guys, like a lot of greenery already. I could already see like the difference between this house and the last one that we've seen. But guys, baby Ariel is now awake. So she is going to see the whole house with me. So let's go ahead and tour this house number two. Okay, so I'm pulling up to the front door now. Oh my gosh. This house is 
so nice guys okay let's go into the living room this is the living room very classy very elegant very very elegant okay is very clean they do have some of like the other features in the last house too like the gold faucets and everything but i can definitely tell already that this house is more so neutral you know more on the neutral side than the other one it's not so like flashy flashy but you can tell that you know it's definitely more on like the pricey side which i have no problem with at all let's see what's in here okay so this is just the bathroom okay no problem okay we do have our first bedroom and guys wait it seems like there's a hot tub out there wait i think i have to go through this door right here this is a bathtub over here whoa yeah so we have a bathtub this is so crazy like i mean this i think this is probably like a his and her sink over here as well but once we actually go outside guys there's a whole hot tub there's a, like a outside sitting area as well which is so nice this is beautiful if i definitely want to like expand my family and this huge walk-in closet guys whoa so we do have like a really big walk-in closet in here as well oh my gosh guys baby ariel is just like chilling here <laughs> okay but let's go ahead and continue we have another bathroom in here as well so that was actually majority of downstairs i do want to check out the backyard now so let's go ahead and get outside this is the door to outside guys okay we have a huge pool over here and they do have a trampoline which is good because the other house also had a trampoline and i really felt like baby ariel would probably really enjoy that so I'm glad that they have a trampoline here as well. And this backyard is really nice, guys. A lot of greenery, a lot of like stones and like nature as well. And you can see the mountains clearly up here as well. So that's really cool. Okay, guys. So that was just in the backyard. But let's actually head upstairs and see the rooms now. Okay, so guys, we have another outside seating area. And this will be so nice when it's like dark. Oh my gosh, this is so cute i could already see myself like sitting outside here with baby ariel looking up at the stars like okay we do have an office which is really good because sometimes i do work from home so having an office here is really nice okay so our first room oh this is so cute okay so this room is actually way bigger than the room that we currently have at our house guys there's even like a play area where Ariel could like play with her toys in and everything like this is so nice there's some books over here as well so I could like read Ariel to sleep you know some nights this is so nice okay let's get into the other room right here okay and this is more so of like a toddler room guys so we do have like a strawberry theme going on you know a huge closet as well and also there's like a Jack and Jill type of moment going on with this bathroom as well so we do have like a separate sink you know separate bath another separate sink as well here and we have a shower and even like a potty training oh my gosh i could potty train baby ariel here oh my gosh that is actually so cool and we do have another shower here wow okay this that's actually really cute so that's actually a feature that i'm gonna have to keep into account because eventually when ariel does get older i am mean, gonna have to go ahead and potty train her so having a potty trainer already over here is really good but let's continue on with the house tour okay guys so across the hall guess what i see this is the master bedroom guys you already know how much i want me and ariel's rooms to be closer together so the fact that this master bedroom is on the same level and just across the hall from her room is such good news and i also have a balcony like what oh my gosh and i think this balcony actually has a way better view than the other one like i'm not gonna lie like this is really really nice and let's see in here i think in here is the bathroom ah okay so this is where the jack and jill 
bathroom actually leads to so the jack and jill bathroom leads to this room right here and it goes straight into like the toddler room okay so that's actually really good so so maybe in the near future like i can have baby ariel in the toddler room and the rooms won't be like so separate okay guys so i just finished touring house number two it does have the feature that i want and it also had another feature that i didn't even take into account guys like the potty training definitely gonna have to be doing that not too too soon but is definitely gonna be in mind for sure so this was house number two guys but i do have another booking for a house tour so let's go on to house number three okay guys so we just made it to house number three this is our last house tour of the day but guys look at this outside area like hello what are we talking about right now like the palm trees even like the water near the entranceway what you're not seeing that anywhere else you're not seeing that anywhere else okay but guys as i said before i'm keeping in mind my feature that i need in this house okay if i want to actually have it so let's go ahead and get into this house tour okay so i'm making my way to the entrance right now as i said before guys like the water here what anyway let's go ahead and open up these doors okay what this is very nice already y'all are we seeing the chandelier like what oh my gosh so this is the living room right here guys like the steps as well y'all this kitchen is crazy we have two ovens not one two okay and going more down we have a pool table so you know if i'm gonna be having anybody come over there's a pool table so, you know some entertainment this living room y'all this fireplace oh do not get me started like this fireplace y'all i didn't even finish touring the bottom half of this house but guys like it's already really growing on me okay it's already really growing on me hopefully they have the feature that i need here okay with the two rooms because that's something that i'm gonna need okay but y'all so far i am really liking this place a lot but continuing Going on let's go outside this is the backyard guys like what I actually really like this backyard like this is honestly probably like a combination of the two houses that we already seen before like this backyard it has the pool it has the seats by the pool there's a lot of like greenery and plants going on as well there is a lot of space and guys what this master bedroom oh y'all the gaming setup get out the gaming setup <gasps> what is going on we have the bean bags like we have of course this beautiful bed as well with the tv you know ariel could definitely be chilling in here with me like don't play yeah and she is having her bottle right now because she did get a little hungry okay so i'm making sure that she has her bottle but continuing on guys going down these steps walk in closet we had this beautiful marble walled bathroom like a his and hers sink gorgeous shower this big bath oh my gosh what's in here okay so this is just the toilet this is just the toilet but it does look automatic though like i it does look like an automatic toilet which is very fancy okay and let's go a little bit down in here this may just lead into the hallway yeah so this is just the hallway downstairs but guys what the and we have another room this is giving like teenager this is giving teenager vibes obviously you can see outside as well you can see the view from here and they already have like their own bathroom y'all this mirror with the with the vanity lighting like y'all this is really this is really a top-notch home i'm not gonna lie this is really a top-notch home okay but guys we know what we are here for we are here for baby ariel so let's see if there's a really good baby room in here there should be 
like if all if we have all this space in this house i know that there is a really good baby room like there has to be so let's go ahead go upstairs and see what the vibes are okay so we are heading upstairs right now and let's go into this room right here okay so this is a children's room believe it or not believe it or not y'all this is a children's room there is a balcony y'all this could definitely be baby ariel's future room like what we have the computer here we got the desk like we have one of her favorite you know characters you know the one that be on tv okay so cute and i'm pretty sure this is probably oh my gosh this bathroom are y'all seeing this this is gorgeous. Okay, let's get out. Let's see the other rooms upstairs as well. Okay, so this is definitely like a baby Ariel's room for sure. Like this is her room for sure. The house that we did see last time had a bigger room and there was more room for her to like play in and this is this is a decent size like this is a decent size. She could still like play with her toys over here and everything like that um but this is really nice nevertheless this is a decent size room you know we had the couch over here so if i want to you know just chill with her in, in her room like i can do that like i don't have to stand up you know so that's really good let's get into the next room now which is over here and i think right here i don't know if we seen this room we did not see this room y'all we definitely seen this room. We definitely did. This is the master bedroom that I seen, guys. The master bedroom that we seen was downstairs because this one has a balcony. Guys, this house has two master bedrooms. Let me repeat this. This house has two master bedrooms. And guess what? Baby Ariel's room is right across the hall from this master bedroom. Right across the hall. Like, literally just like a few feet and I'm there. Hello? Comment down below which house you guys would go with because out of the three houses, guys, like, all of the houses have been so nice. But let's go ahead, get downstairs, and make a decision okay guys so there is another room behind me and i don't know i thought i seen all of the rooms but i guess not so let's go ahead and check it out okay so let's go ahead head inside <gasps> guys wait there is a literal movie theater up here in this house what oh my gosh are you kidding me what a movie theater okay guys so that is pretty much it for house number three so i went ahead and toured three houses guys let me know down in the comments below which house you guys would go with i feel like i'm definitely gonna have my decision sometime soon but i guess you guys are just gonna have to wait until the next video to see my final decision on which house i will go with and let me know down in the comments below which house you guys think i will go with as well i want to hear your thoughts like let me know so guys without further ado if you guys like this video go ahead like comment and of course subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, okay. So today guys, I am back with another brand new Berry Avenue video. And today guys, we are going to be moving into our new house. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Today is move in day with baby Ariel. As you guys know, or probably don't know, I just adopted a new baby, baby Ariel. And it has been so exciting. Like, so many new upgrades, so many new updates. Like, there's so much going on as of lately. Today, we are just going to be moving into our new house. Like, we already did the house hunting already. So, I definitely know which house we're gonna be moving into today. But it is still really early early so baby ariel is still sleeping right now but I, but I just woke up early because i wanted to get ahead of the day 
and also the movers are going to be coming in pretty soon as well we do have some boxes like all over the house guys it has been such a crazy like few days with moving and everything and making sure that everything is packaged and ready to go but today is finally the day guys so i am so excited to finally move into a new house with newborn baby every yell guys if you guys are excited and interested to see us move into our new house go ahead like comment and of course subscribe and let's go into today's video so as i said before guys baby ariel is still sleeping she is soundly asleep she's not gonna wake up for another like hour or two so i'm just gonna let her you know rest and everything and while she is still resting i'm gonna go ahead get ready make some breakfast and get my day started Okay guys, so I just got dressed. This is my outfit of the day for moving day. I have my gold choker on. I have this nice, cute but casual knitted sundress on as well with of course my brown bag to match like the neutral vibes and i do have my white sandals as well and i just went ahead and made myself some tea because i just really wanted some tea before like the movers come this is gonna help me like really relax and get my day started but i am gonna go ahead and start preparing Ariel's breakfast because it is almost time for her to like get up and everything and the movers also said that they are also on their way So I just want to make sure that she has her breakfast and that she is ready to go Okay, so I just made baby Ariel's food right here now I'm gonna go ahead and see if she is awake. She should be awake by now. So let's go ahead and check Okay guys, so it seems like baby Ariel is now awake so I can go ahead feed her and get her ready for the day Okay guys, so I just went ahead and got baby Ariel all set for move-in day. I'm gonna show you guys her outfit now. So this is baby Ariel's outfit guys so she has on a really cute pink and white outfit i gave her some new shoes and some new socks with this really cute like pink and white dress with a big bow and a white undershirt with this pink and white new bow that i recently just picked up while i was out shopping but y'all this is her outfit she looks so cute it seems like she really likes her outfit today so i'm really happy about that but i should be receiving a call from the movers any minute now so i'm gonna go ahead be on standby probably just chill inside of the living room with baby ariel until they are until they are here to pick up all the boxes Okay hey guys, so I just received a call from the movers and they said that they are right up the block. So I'm going to go ahead, hand them some boxes and let them come inside and package everything up. But guys, I am so excited to get into this new house. If you guys have seen my previous video, then you guys know that I toured three houses. And today you guys will finally know which house me and Ariel is going to be moving into. I am so excited to show you guys like the final decision, but I'm gonna go ahead and meet the movers outside. Okay guys, so the movers are obviously here now. They're already taking out all of the boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take me and Ariel to downtown Berry Avenue, probably go to the cafe, get some smoothies, you know, just kind of hang out until the movers have all of the boxes into the new house, which I'm so excited to show you guys. Like, oh my gosh, it's spectacular. But I'm gonna go ahead, go to downtown Berry Avenue with baby Ariel here and we're just gonna like get away from, from all of the noise and the busyness that's going on right now. 
So let's go ahead and go into downtown Barry Avenue. Alright guys, so we just got some juices and smoothies. I did receive a call from the movers saying that they are already at the house and they are almost done. So I think we're going to go ahead, head over to the new house and show you guys like the house that we decided on guys. And show you guys the house that we are moving into. I am so excited to show you guys. So let's go ahead and head over to the new house. Okay guys, so we are now at the new house. Oh my gosh, I am so happy to finally show you guys our decision. Obviously like the movers are here as well, but guys, we chose house number three guys. I am so happy with this decision because I revisited house number two actually, and I seen that there were actually some features that didn't really make sense in the house. Like I seen in Ariel's baby room that literally there was no crib in the baby room. So that just didn't really make sense for me. And also I seen that the master bedroom was actually downstairs then up upstairs and Ariel's room is upstairs so that was just like an automatic no for me so guys we went with house number three it's obviously like right here behind us this is kind of like you know just the exterior of it you guys probably have seen it in the previous video but guys we are moving into house number three I'm so happy about this decision okay guys so we just unpacked all of the boxes so we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of like a mini tour of the house if you guys want a more in-depth house tour then you guys can definitely watch my previous video of us house hunting if you guys want more in detail of the house but let's go ahead and do a mini house tour okay so right over there is the front door and obviously right here is like the living room area and if you go a little more down you're gonna see like the kitchen the kitchen has two oven guys so that's gonna be really helpful especially when i am cooking dinner for me and ariel we have of course the coffee maker and the beautiful deep sink as well with the stove top on the counter as well guys like everything here is so advanced and we do have like a separate seating area right here for any guests that just wants to come and hang out they can go ahead and be right here but since we're already in this area we might as well just go ahead and get outside so outside has like a lot of different plants out here which i love and if we go a bit further down, we actually see my master bedroom. So we're going to go ahead and get inside here. And we have my desktop right here. Of course, my bed is right over here as well. And I love this bed frame, guys. Like, it's so pretty and it's super modern and it's and very aesthetic. We have some bean bags here as well just in case if i have some friends over so let's go upstairs and i'll show you guys a baby ariel's room so this is baby ariel's room of course we have the changing table with the cute flowers we have her crib over here that was recently installed and a couch over here as well just in case if i want to read her any stories to bed or anything like that so that's really good but guys we are in house number three i'm so happy about this decision let me know down in the comments below if you guys think i went with the right house let me know i want to hear you guys thoughts and without further ado guys so now that me and baby ariel is now all moved in to the new house that is going to be pretty much it for this video guys so do not forget to like comment and of course subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video bye Hey 
guys and welcome back to my channel okay okay today guys i am coming back with yet another brand new berry avenue video and today of course we have baby ariel with us i am going to be showing you guys our nighttime routine because not only do i have a newborn baby now but i also just moved into a brand new house guys if you guys have seen my previous video then you guys know that we moved into a whole new house near the mountains y'all it has been such a nice transition like moving here like everything is so much better like the environment is so comforting and i really think that ariel is enjoying it as well so i feel like it was only right to show you guys our brand new nighttime routine so if you guys are interested in seeing that go ahead like comment and of course subscribe and let's go ahead into today's video so guys we actually recently just came back from a little outing you know a little mommy daughter outing so we definitely have to get changed and like take a shower wash up all that good stuff so first i'm gonna go ahead and take baby ariel into the bath and get her changed so let's go ahead and do that okay guys so we are currently in my bathroom in the master bedroom this is where she also get washed up because there isn't like another separate bathroom up here that she can use for herself so we are going to be sharing a bathroom which of course I do not mind at all so let's go ahead and get her in the bath Okay guys, I just got baby Ariel out of the bath. She loves to play with all of the bubbles guys, like it's so cute. But I'm gonna go ahead and get her changed and we'll move on to the next step of our nighttime routine. Okay guys, I already have baby Ariel out of the bath. She is changed now, she is all freshened up. But we are downstairs in the kitchen though because I do have to get prepared with dinner and everything i'm not too sure exactly what i'm gonna cook for dinner tonight but i know i'm just gonna go ahead get on the tablet and just see whatever's on there so we could eat some dinner together but while i am preparing dinner i'm just gonna go ahead and put on ariel's favorite tv channel guys like the kids channel is just her jam like she loves it so i'm gonna go ahead turn on the tv for her while i am preparing dinner and we'll continue on with our nighttime routine so i just finished preparing dinner this is my dinner i just have some salmon with some asparagus you know nothing too heavy this is something light for me to just go to bed this is just something i like eating nowadays and this is ariel's dinner as well i have some french fries some ketchup some chicken nuggets and of course some grapes because she has been loving grapes recently guys like she just loves grapes i decided to give her some on the side with her dinner so we're gonna go ahead eat dinner and we'll move on with our nighttime routine me and baby ariel just finished eating dinner together and she is getting so sleepy guys so we did have a long day and it's a before we did come back from an outing so i know she is pretty tired now so we're gonna go ahead and put her to bed so she can rest all right guys so i am now in my bedroom i just put baby ariel to bed because she was so tired guys so now that we are back in my bedroom i'm gonna go ahead take a shower wash up 
and then do some skincare and also guys for the past few nights of sleeping here i have been feeling so much more comfortable so much more relaxed like i feel like i definitely have a routine down packed over here in the new house like the bedroom is absolutely gorgeous guys like the bed itself is so comfortable but as i said guys i'm gonna go ahead wash up and i'll see you guys very soon Okay guys, so I just stepped out of the shower. I have my hair rollers on. I have this really cute pink and white robe on as well that I got from actually Target. So now guys, I'm gonna go ahead, wash my face, do some skincare, and really unwind guys. And by the way, a good tip to do at night if you want to save up time in the morning definitely go ahead and put some hair rollers in like guys i literally wake up with such like a blow dried style of hair and i love that look and as i said before it definitely saves up so much time in the morning especially when i have to get baby ariel ready for the day and everything like that so if there's any other moms out there that need some time that needs some tips for saving time in the mornings and everything, definitely go ahead. Go ahead, put some hair rollers in for the day after and you will be just fine. So as I said before, I'm gonna go ahead, do my skincare and I did actually buy some new skincare from Ulta. So I'm definitely gonna be trying some of those products out tonight and seeing how they react on my skin. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Guys, I just finished doing my skincare. That helps me relax so much during the nighttime. I really don't know what it is, but it really helps me to unwind. And also those products that I got from Ulta, they they feel so good on my skin. Like honestly, it's so good. I may have to go back and get some more. But guys, now that I am done with my skincare, and I have my hair rollers in. I'm gonna go ahead and check up on baby Ariel and see if she is sleeping soundly. So let's go ahead and check up on her. Okay, baby Ariel is definitely sleeping right now. She is knocked out, guys. So I think she's gonna be good for the rest of the night. So let's go ahead and go back to my bedroom. All right, guys. So we are now back in my bedroom and we are in... And we are currently in my walk-in closet. So now that I already checked up on Ariel, I'm gonna go ahead, change into my pajamas, and finally get into bed. All right, guys. So I am now already dressed for bed. I just have on my off-shoulder baggy sweater and my pajama pants on, and that is literally it, guys. So that is it for me and baby Ariel's nighttime routine. As I said before, there has been so many changes as of lately, you know, getting, you know, adopting Ariel, getting this new house, but it has all been super exciting and really rewarding. So that is pretty much it for our nighttime routine. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead, like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel okay okay so today guys I am coming back with yet another brand new Berry Avenue video I am going to be showing you guys our new reset routine 
So of course, with having a newborn baby and even moving into a new house, things are so different, but they're so exciting, guys. So I cannot wait to show you guys our brand new routine to reset for the week. If you guys are interested in seeing that, go ahead, like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So I like to go ahead and start off my routines pretty early in the morning. So right now it's about 8 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead, get dressed, and we're gonna gonna go ahead and continue on with today's reset all right guys so i just have this really casual lounge fit on i do still have my hair in my rollers because i usually keep them on throughout the day unless i have to go somewhere so i do still have my hair rollers in but i have my lounge outfit now i just have some white sweats and a pink sweater because i am going to be cleaning a lot today so just something really casual but now that I am all dressed, let's go ahead and prepare breakfast. So let's go ahead, get downstairs and prepare breakfast. So today's breakfast is actually really simple. I just made a peanut butter sandwich with some banana slices on it. It's super easy and really convenient and it tastes really good too. And right now, baby Ariel is currently just having a bottle. She does eat solids now, but sometimes she just prefers bottles over solids in the mornings so i just gave her a bottle but usually after we both have breakfast i like to go ahead and start off with some laundry so i will see you guys when it is time to do laundry okay so now that we are in the laundry room baby ariel is currently sleeping right now because this usually happens after breakfast like she'll usually just take a nap which is actually perfect for me because i can freely go ahead and do some chores around the house without having having to be distracted or anything so everything is really effective and it goes by pretty fast too so i'm gonna go ahead get this laundry done like guys laundry has literally been piling up so quickly as of recently so i know that there is so much to do so let's go ahead and get started Alright, so all of the clothes are currently washing in the washing machine, but now that I have some time, I'm going to go ahead and do the dishes while the laundry is going because it usually does take a little minute for the laundry to actually get done. So I'm going to go ahead and use this time to do the dishes and get some things done. Alright guys, so the laundry is all done, like the clothes are already done washing, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in the dryer that's right above it. Most of the clothes are going to be in the dryer, but I am going to take some clothes out and actually hang it outside. I do this because some fabrics... Some fabrics actually shrink in the dryer, so I make sure to just air dry them to not have them shrink. To not have the clothes shrink and keep like the quality. So I'm going to go ahead, put majority of the clothes in the dryer, and then take some outside. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so now that we have most... Now that we have some of our clothes already hanged up and majority of my clothes in the dryer, it's going to take a while for them to actually get dried. It usually takes the clothes to air dry like overnight, but for the dryer, it should be not too, too long. But I'm going to go ahead and take this time to actually get ready because we do have to go grocery shopping, guys. Like food has been running out super quickly as of lately so definitely going ahead and going to the grocery store is like a necessity now especially like every week at least once a week so today is definitely the day to do that and that is also part of our reset routine 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get baby Ariel dressed and ready to go as well as me. So I'm gonna go ahead get dressed and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I am all done and I am dressed for the grocery store. So I have my Prada headband with my pearl clip-on earrings. I have my gold choker that I usually always wear, honestly. I have this really cute dress, but I really wanted to pair it with my denim jeans and that's exactly what I did. And I have my white flats as well. I really, really like my outfit. I know this is just for the grocery store, but honestly, any chance that I get to dress up, I will. So this is my outfit for the day. All right, guys, so I am. So this is also Arielle's outfit as well. As I said before, guys, her hair has been growing so much. Like, So I decided to go ahead and put this really cute pink hair bow on her hair. I have her dressed in this pink and white fluffy dress and a white undershirt that is short sleeve because it is pretty hot outside and i have these fuzzy socks on her as well she doesn't yet know how to walk but sometimes i do catch her crawling guys like i'm pretty sure if i show you guys like her crawl like she'll probably i'm pretty sure that i can catch her like crawling maybe like throughout the day but guys she is already crawling so yes, this is what I have for her and of course she has her brand new gold necklace as well. Super cute. But guys, I am all ready for the grocery store. I already have my duffel bag filled with her diapers, changing wipes, a new set of clothes as well in the car outside. And I'm about to go ahead and put her in her car seat so we can go ahead and get into the grocery store. of the grocery store guys and guys i think baby Ariel is actually really enjoying being on the stroller guys like look at her face she is really enjoying being inside of the cart guys like she's so cute but let's go ahead and get into shopping shopping we have so much stuff guys which is so good because for the rest of the week we're just gonna be cooking with whatever we bought today so let's go ahead and head back to the house Ariel is in the car already she's chilling so let's go ahead and head back all right guys so we are back from the grocery store I'm gonna go ahead and organize these groceries in a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and organize these groceries real quick as i said before we do have a lot of stuff so i'm gonna go ahead organize these in the fridge and i'll see you guys in a bit all right so i just changed and i also changed barry ariel as well but she is taking a nap again because after the grocery shopping we were out for a little bit so she so i definitely understand why she is tired right now but since she is taking a nap, I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing my reset routine. I'm gonna first go ahead and vacuum the house, get everything spotless and cleaned, and then go ahead and mop, and probably do some ironing as well, but I'm probably gonna do that in my bedroom. So let's go ahead and get to vacuuming.
guys, so I went ahead, did some ironing, and I vacuumed and mopped the entire house. And now, baby Ariel is obviously awake now, so we're gonna go ahead, get something to eat. I'll probably order something in. But guys, that is pretty much it for my reset routine with my newborn baby, baby Ariel. If you guys like this video, go ahead, like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!